Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kudrowski and this organic chemistry video is going to cover an introduction to organic synthesis. Organic synthesis is the construction of specific target molecules in one or more reaction steps from simpler starting materials. The idea is you have some kind of molecule in mind, maybe it's a drug that treats an important disease, or maybe it's some other molecule of interest, and you need to make it. And what you need to do is to try to find reactions that will allow you to stitch that molecule together from simple starting materials, and it might take one or more reaction steps. This usually requires thinking in reverse of knowing the product that you're looking for, but having to figure out reactants. This is kind of a change from what we've been doing thus far. So far we've been focused on putting a nucleophile and an alkyl halide together and trying to figure out what the product is. This idea is you have a product and you need to figure out then what kind of alkyl halide and nucleophile could I use to generate that product. Here's an example. The product molecule is an alcohol. It has a hydroxy functional group and then it has an R group. Think of the SN1 and SN2 reactions as tools that will allow you to make a molecule where you link an alkyl group and a functional group. We have in this molecule an alkyl group here, and we have a functional group here. We just need to figure out what nucleophile and what alkyl halide could we put together to make this species. Think of the functional group as being the nucleophile part, and the R group as being the alkyl halide part. Here's the R group. Here's the nucleophile. And in this case then, the nucleophile would attack the carbon of the alkyl halide, the leaving group would leave, and that would give us a bond here that we need linking the nucleophile and the alkyl group. SN1 and SN2 reactions are tools to make molecules. Here's a series of examples of different functional groups linked with R groups that you can synthesize using the SN2 reaction. If you start with an alkyl halide and put in hydroxide nucleophile, O- will attack the R group, displace the X group, and that generates the following hydroxy substituted alkyl group, which is an alcohol. If you change up the nucleophile, you can change up the functional group. In this case, we have an alkoxide nucleophile, and that leads to an ether. If we put in a carboxylate nucleophile, that generates an ester. We can use a sulfur nucleophile to give a thiol. Another sulfur nucleophile can give a sulfide. A nitrogen nucleophile can displace X and give an amine. Here, an acetylide nucleophile, this species here, can give an alkyne, carbon-carbon triple bond containing molecule. And if we use a cyanide nucleophile, CN minus, that can displace X and give a species known as a nitrile. Right now you don't know too many reactions. You know SN1 and you know SN2. However, you actually have quite a bit of flexibility now to build a variety of different molecules. The key is identifying the functional group, identifying the R group, and then picking the two pieces that you need to put together to make that species. The nucleophile represents the functional group and the alkyl halide will provide the R group. 